Hey YouTubers, I'm back again in video number two and uh, this is kind of like a video response to Hornet Fixer 1 on your uh, most sentimental gun and I've got uh, a couple here I'd like to go over um, as you can see I'm kind of working on this one here because I was recording before and as usual something had to happen where it didn't record right but anyway um, this is a Savage Model 29A, I believe, and anyway, it's uh, kind of tight in here, so I have to kind of work with it and stuff, but anyway, this, uh, this old 22 has been in the family for quite some time. Uh, I got this from my dad back in the, oh, I'd say 70s, but this is actually the first weapon that I ever fired right here. If I can just get this to load back in here for me. Uh, they can be a little difficult here because it is old and gives me a hard time. But anyway, that uh, I'm going to put that back together here in a minute instead of wasting your time with that. But it's just like a takedown uh, type, uh, ten, like, you know, the 1022, you know, is a takedown type. Or you can get the takedown type. And this is like one of the first ones that, you know, you can break apart and take camping with you and everything else. So, the one that uh, really has some sentimental value here is this uh, old Mosin I got. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that very well. It is unloaded. Um, takes a 7.62 by 54. That's a pretty good, uh, good size round right there, you know. If y'all can see that or not, sorry. Okay. We got those. Uh, still fires. Uh, the history behind this is uh, my dad was stationed in, in uh, well, he was stationed actually in Japan, but they were flying into to Korea from there. And uh, back in like 1950, I think he was there from 50 to 53 during the whole war. But anyway, they were dropping uh, airborne troops into Korea there to help support other units. And one of his friends was a an airborne trooper and when he uh, you know got into Korea they were out in the field and he shot a North Korean with this rifle of course it didn't have this Monte Carlo stock on it I had an old wood stock but it's you know broke up well anyway he brought it back and gave it to my dad and somehow dad got it back to the States and it still fires I mean it's not the prettiest most of the gun I've seen I think Eric's is like a Cadillac of the Mosins, but uh, as you can see, it's still in good shape to be from back in 1950-51. Uh, the marking on it here, let's see, what does that say? Maybe somebody can help me out here. It says 1944. has a little Soviet emblem on it. And it just uh, doesn't really have much else on it. It's got a number here, but I better not read that off. It's, I guess, maybe a serial number. But Anyway, I really enjoy this rifle. It's loud as all get out. <laughs> And uh, I personally haven't shot this a whole lot. Well, we had it bench tested years ago, but my son is the one that's done most of the, the shooting with this. And uh, he's never had any problems with it. Uh, they're, they're built like a tank, so I mean, you know, I don't think you can hurt this too much. But uh, with this Monte Carlo stock on there, I kind of like it. Uh, hopefully, uh, it'll last for a long time and then, you know, maybe pass it on down to the grandkids or something later on. But uh, anyway, that's a couple of my uh, sentimental guns. Um, sorry about the 22. Uh, this thing is so old, but it's, you know, it's giving me a little crap today. I guess it wants to be stubborn, but uh, anywho, uh, once I get that back together, um, I'll try to do a little bit better job on it, but right now it's just messing me up. So anyway, you all take care, and um, I'm going to do another... Uh, video here pretty soon on uh, my Wyndham Weaponry AR-15. Now I had that in black and I wanted to go to olive drab. Uh, don't ask me why, I just like that color. But uh, anyway, Howard over at uh, Bunker, uh, PSSFD Inc. Okay, uh, got me an olive drab, uh, you know, grip, four grip for it, uh, four in hand guard, whatever. And I've got all the parts on it now and uh, so I was going to do that and kind of give him a, a shout out because he wanted to see it 
Uh, he named it the Hulk, so <laughs> that's what I'm going to go with, I guess, the Hulk. And I also have a Glock 23 Gen 4 uh, that I've got on layaway right now, and it's olive drab with the black slide. And also, I just wanted to say to everybody, or ask everybody, have you ever seen a Glock with a stainless slide on it? Uh, our local gun store, Ron and Joe's in O'Fallon, Illinois, a uh, guy there named Bill showed me one, and I couldn't believe it. I had never seen a Glock, you know, from the factory with a stainless slide. Now, I'm no Glock expert because I've never owned any. This is going to be my first one. I mainly had 1911s and revolvers, you know, ARs, stuff like that. But uh, if anybody knows, you know, anything about that, uh, just drop me a line or something and, and let me know because that was kind of interesting. It made that, that, that pistol, it looked totally different, okay? If you can imagine, you know, like the XDMs with the, you know, stainless slide and everything. Well, on this Glock, I thought that because of the way it looked, it just looked sleeker. And, uh, and it made it look like, a, to me, a totally different gun. Now, I might be wrong, because like I said, I've never owned a Glock. Um, but anyway, if, if uh, anybody has anything on that, uh, let me know. And, and uh, it'd be good to have that kind of information. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, as I've said before, keep up our our fight for our rights, our freedoms, uh, support the people in Connecticut, and I hear there's a couple other states that are having a hard time too. Um, I know here in Illinois it ain't easy, but at least we got our concealed carry now, and, and I'll be taking that class here pretty soon, so uh, you all take care, and I uh, hope you come back and see my channel some more, and uh, like I said, I've got a few videos uh, that I'm going to be doing, and it may take me a little while because I'm still trying to get used to this. Um, but I appreciate all my subscribers, um, and you guys, uh, you just have a wonderful day, and, uh, get out there and go shooting. Thank you. Talk to you later.